hello welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Nicola and I'm a mum of two and I make videos about all things lifestyle motherhood vlogs hauls and lots of stuff like that I would love it if you would subscribe and you can do that by clicking the little button down below if it's red that means you're not yet subscribed and if you do you'll be notified every time I upload a video which at the moment is every Tuesday at 4 30 right that's the formalities out of the way so today I am going to do an ASOS haul and this is the first time I have ever ordered anything from ASOS. Hard to believe, but true. Um, actually, no, it's not entirely true. I have ordered from ASOS once and I ordered a hoodie for Andrew for Christmas one year. Um, but otherwise, I've never ordered anything for myself. And everyone's always banging on about it. I watch hauls all the time and thought it was about time I you know, jumped on that bandwagon and ordered some things for myself. Now there's quite a lot in here. I don't intend to keep it all, but we'll see. So, hey, why don't we just dive in? Um, oh, excuse the hair, by the way. Um, I had intended to wash my hair and do it nice and make a bit more effort for this video. However, I haven't got time to do that today. And um, I didn't want to leave the video because I want to wear some of these things in here. So I thought I would just get on with it. It's real life after all, and my hair needs a wash. So, right, let's have a look and see what we've got. So, first of all, so I've got a little backstory. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you may well know I lost weight recently and I have gone down from a size 14 to a size 12. I'm sort of a 10 to 12 on top and a 12 to 14 probably on the bottom. And generally dresses and things like that, I will, would be a size 12. I'm five foot nine. So generally trousers and things come up quite short on me. So I have ordered a few things here from the tall range. Um, I have a little bit of fear when I buy new clothes and I buy a size 12 because I can't yet quite believe that that is my true size. So I have, whether these things are gonna fit or not, I don't know. My jeans that I wear are all 14s and I've tried on 12s and they do fit, but they're uncomfortable. So. I always buy a 14 jeans. Everything here that I have bought is a size 12, so I really hope it fits. We'll see. So, first of all, I have a do to go to in July. I know it's only March, but no, April when you're seeing this. Um, but I like to be organised in advance. And I wanted to buy a jumpsuit. I don't own a jumpsuit, I've never worn a jumpsuit, but I quite fancied wearing one. I thought it would be kind of different to wearing a dress. and. I found this one. This is by the brand Little Mistress. It is in the tall range. And I thought, when I saw it, I thought it was so pretty. And actually, it really is. So this is the top. So it's kind of like a, a net over the top. And then it's embroidered with these pretty flowers. You can see. And then it's just full length and wide leg trousers. Now, if this fits... I think it's going to be really nice and exactly what I'm looking for. It's got this pale pink, so the light's quite bright in here. I'm going to try to turn it down slightly. You won't be able to see the colour slightly better. There we go. So it's got this pale pink band along the front with like a little scalloped edge. You can see there. And the sleeves are... They're not quite three-quarter length. They're probably up to just above the elbow, I would say. So I'll try it on. Let's see what it looks like. So this is the jumpsuit, the first one that I've bought for the event I've got to go to and I'm so pleased with it, it fits, actually it's, dare I say, slightly on the big side. I think sometimes um, when you pay a little bit more for items, they can be a little bit more roomy and I don't know whether it might be worth sizing down. It's only a little bit, could do with just taking in a touch, but I don't know, I'll probably keep it as, as it is. Uh, so it fits, other, but other than that, really nicely. Length, it is a little bit long. Um, but if I have heels on, I've just got a pair of nude ones here to show you. With a heel on, it doesn't. they don't quite touch the ground. So that would be perfect if I wear some heels. And yeah, I just think this is really nice. I'm just unsure about whether or not maybe I could go get a 10. A size 10? I've never been a size 10 in my life. Um, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm unsure. Let me know what you think. Whether you think it looks like. Because it's just quite gapy here at the back. 
it almost could do with a tie but you can't put a belt around it because of the band there's definitely room and I'm hun not hundred sure whether maybe I don't need the tall I don't know I'm undecided it's really pretty though and I'd need like a strapless bra or something because the sleeves just come slightly off the shoulder but yeah I do like it I just need to decide whether or not maybe I need a, a slightly smaller size okay next item I got is something probably a little out of my comfort zone I did try and get some things that would be different I tend to always buy the same stuff and I thought right while I'm doing this and trying buying clothes from somewhere different why not go a little out of my comfort zone and buy things I wouldn't normally wear so I got this t-shirt dress I think that's probably what you'd call it it is by the brand soaked it says soaked in luxury it says on the tag it was 59.99 it wasn't it was 22 pounds I got it in the sale and it's just a plain dress I think it's a good length if I hold it up on me yeah it comes to just above my knee which is perfect length I don't like things too short um, and it's got this little just a little belt with a thread through buckle on the end and really simple and I thought this would be really nice just for throwing on in the summer and springtime and yeah I'm really pleased with this if it if it fits and looks nice when it's on it's like a nudie colour with leopard print and yeah love it so let's see what it looks like on okay so this is the leopard print t-shirt dress it's actually really nice um yeah I, i'm quite pleasantly surprised if it easily i could size down in this as well it was huge and i've i've gathered it all in you can see how much it's been gathered in if i take the untie the belt which i can't do with one hand there we go if I untie the belt you can see how massive it is so yeah I would probably recommend sizing down in this as well although it looks fine gathered in I don't know whether I'd be bothered to to send it back so there we go I've tied it back up again um but yeah it's very roomy but I think that's fine it's summer it springtime I don't think I don't think you need anything too tight and length is perfect for me really perfect I often find things are way too short, especially t-shirt dresses like this. So yeah, I think I might keep this. It's a little bit different to what I would normally wear, but I think it's really nice. So yeah, this gets a thumbs up from me too. Okay, next. This looks like way out of my comfort zone. What is this? I don't even remember. That's the best thing about ordering online, isn't it? You just forget what you've ordered. So this is... Oh, it's another jumpsuit. Okay. I, do you know what? I don't remember ordering this at all. But we will see what it looks like. I can't even work out which way it goes. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. So it's this leopard print jumpsuit. It has like a slight crossover at the front. And then it meets at the back there. So you could probably either wear it just plain or you could probably wear it with like a white t-shirt underneath if you wanted to and then it's got a tie at the front as well this is by the brand doo -doo -doo -doo. this is just by ace this is asos's own brand and this was this was 31.50 uh, and as i said it's in a size 12 i can't remember whether this it doesn't say tall so i presume this is not in the tall range we'll see what it looks like whether it's long enough this is what I worry that sometimes jumpsuits and things they're just not long enough unless you get them in the tall range okay so this is the leopard print jumpsuit and I and I really like it but I just don't know how I would wear it because I think it definitely you could wear it braless so I've just got my bra on still underneath it but because of the back and the way it is I you would either have to go completely braless which I cannot do and or you'd have to wear a t-shirt underneath I haven't got anything really suitable that I could put underneath but it's really nice it again is a little on the large side everything's coming up really big um, but it's a great length I think it might be if these are from the tall range I think that's why they're coming up big because I guess I think I think maybe I could size down in the tall range to a 10 but in a normal size I would probably be a 12 
I really like it. I like the tie. I feel like it maybe could do with some pockets. The length is amazing, really good. But yeah, I could definitely size down and I just don't know what I would wear underneath it. It's really nice though. And I could see myself wearing it with sandals or with Converse trainers. I really like it. How would you wear it? How would you, you tell me, how would you wear it? Would you put something underneath? Like, would it just be like for on holiday and you'd wear a bikini? Oh, I have no idea. Someone help me. So this one is another jumpsuit. <laughs> Went a bit jumpsuit crazy. Uh, I don't, I definitely won't keep all of them. This one is, um, it's the curved smock jumpsuit in navy and it was 22 pounds. So this is like a, um, a jersey material so this is much more sort of a relaxed fit it's just this navy with polka dots on and it's sort of gathered at the front and then it's just really relaxed fit so uh, really nice for summer I think and just checking on and wearing at home and things it's three-quarter length and I'm not sure how I feel about that um, I don't know how flattering three-quarter length even trousers jumpsuits anything I'm really not sure how flattering they are but hey I'll try it on and we'll see how that looks Okay, so, spotty jumpsuit, too big, it's huge. Now, it said it, it was curves, but I, is it in the, is that like the bigger range? The larger lady range, I'm not sure. Maybe I've mistakenly bought something that was for a bigger person, but I mean, it, it's so comfortable and roomy. I don't, I think with, um, I wasn't sure about the three quarter length, but actually I think that looks all right with a pair of, converse or flip-flops or whatever um i don't think it's in the slightest bit flattering it would be lovely it was so cool for the summer i think but i just don't know whether i'd wear it and it's definitely too big uh, around here it could be you know a lot lot smaller maybe if i got a smaller size then it'd probably be smaller all over and it might be a little bit more flattering it sort of comes to here and then just drops from there like an empire line i suppose that is isn't it um, it's just be nice if it came in at the back a little bit, a little bit more fitted and I'd, because of the way it's cut sort of round here, I don't think you could wear a belt or anything round it. And I, you know, that's probably not really what it's supposed to be for. It's supposed to be comfy and casual. I'm not sure. I'm tempted to get a smaller size and see how that goes because it is so comfy and just for like, running around work you know, I mean I obviously work from home so working in the summer will be quite comfy so a few more bits so I got this if you watched my my daughter my eight-year-old does my Primark haul video you will have seen that I bought a pink or she bought me a pink leopard leopard print skater dress um, and I loved it so much but it was just a little bit short I got a 12 and it was slightly too small and a little bit short and it had a hole in it so I was going to take it back and exchange it for a bigger size I took it back and they didn't have one and I was gutted I couldn't get them anywhere they had the plain skater dress the plain leopard print one but even those I wasn't entirely sure about so I just took it back and then I didn't replace it so I found this one which is it's not as pink as the one I got from Primark but it is not a beige one it's sort of in between so it's this again just a button through leopard print skater dress I'm not sure it looks really small actually but we'll see I'm not sure how long yeah, it might be a little bit short this one but we'll see I'll give it a go and try it but I like the pattern on it and uh, I thought it would be really nice for summer summer months summer and springtime let's see how much that one was Skater dress was £30 and this is by the brand, this is just an ASOS own brand one. So we'll try that on, see how that one looks. So this is the leopard print skater dress and yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. It's really, the buttons start really low um, down here, which is fine for some people. Just, I guess if it was a bit longer, I think maybe if it was a long dress, I mightn't mind so much, but it is quite short. Uh, and this is what I mean. You know, if I was maybe 10 years younger, I could probably get away with wearing, and I probably actually, to be fair, I, if I was on holiday, I would wear something this short. Um, it wouldn't bother me, but, because I'm not going away anywhere, 
uh, I don't think I'd get the wear out of it. I think I'd be too self-conscious because when you bend over and you flash everyone your bum. So I don't think, I don't think I like this. I mean, some people might find it okay. I think on somebody who was two inches shorter, it would be a perfect length. I think the problem is my legs as well, this part of my leg is really long and so therefore everything just comes up short but it fits really nicely otherwise and this is what I mean this is a t this is a 12 and this is not from the tall range and it fits me perfectly I wouldn't ever want a smaller size so yeah it's nice but not for me now one more item of clothing this one I saw and I absolutely loved it this is one of the things I was most excited about actually I think I would definitely be keeping it if it fits. And that is this. It's like a broderie anglaise, um, long, well, it's like a midi length dress in black. And it's got these pretty ties on the shoulder. And it's quite fitted around the top. And I think it is so pretty. It'll be easier to see when I put it on. And this was midi dress at 30 pounds as well. And I think it's so lovely, just with a pair of Converse or flip-flop sandals for the summer. We're not going away this summer. Um, well, we are, Phoebe and I are going to Disneyland Paris with her dance school. And I don't think I'll be taking much other than shorts and t-shirts for that. And we're just going to Devon for a week with my parents later on in the summer. But other than that, we're not going away on holiday this year. So I don't need loads of summery things other than what I will just be wearing at home. But I thought this was really nice. Could be dressed up for an evening or just worn during the day to be comfy and cool. And this is ASOS's own brand as well. So we'll see what that looks like on. Right, I love the fit of this dress. It is so perfect. It's really lovely. It's cool, it's comfortable, it's not too tight. It's just perfect. I love it so much. I knew I would when I saw it, the model wearing it. I thought, oh, I'm going to love that. I'm not that enamoured by this bit. I just need to sort out where the bow needs to be on the shoulder because I think it looks a bit odd. Um, I think maybe they need to just go a little bit further back. I think if they're a bit further back, the bows, because you can undo them and redo them. So yeah, that looks a little bit better. Um, but yeah, love this. I think it looks really nice. You could dress it up if you're going out for a meal or something or dress it down with trainers. Love it. Definitely, definitely keeping this. And then last but not least, kind of been steering away from the old chunky trainer vibe. I wasn't quite sure whether I was into it or not. And then I saw these and I kind of thought they were really nice. So I bought them. I'll see what they look like on, but they are these. These are River Island, I think. Yeah, River Island. These were 45 pounds. Just double check. Yeah, 45 pounds. And they're these chunky trainers and they're like a khaki and pink. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna wear them with. I don't think, I think well, they're probably not as chunky as some. So I will try them and I'll think about it, but I'm not 100% sure if you've got any ideas what they, I mean, I suppose with jeans, with skirts, they would look okay. I'm just not 100% sold on them. I really like them, but just not sure how much wear I would get out of them. I wear my Converse a lot. I don't really own any trainers, and I do need some because Archie and I are doing a charity walk for Macmillan Cancer in September. We're doing a, a marathon, 26 miles, not the moonwalk, which is at night. We're doing one during the day and with my sisters. and. Um, I definitely need some trainers for that, but these wouldn't be suitable for that. I need something a little bit more supported, but I'll give them a go. They're quite cool. Right, forget what I said about these um, shoes. I absolutely love them. I am completely sold. They are the best. They are so comfy and <gasps> I love them. I love them so much. I got these in a seven, not that... It really matters what size I am, because but just so you know, this is what they look like on a size seven foot. Um, but oh my god, I love them. I've just put on my pink t shirt because I thought I've got a, gr a khaki green long line cardigan I was going to put with them because I thought that would look quite nice. Um, although I'm not sure about t shirt tucked in, I should be more confident, shouldn't I? Um, I love them, 
What do you think? Ah, oh, they're so nice. They're just slightly different colour to what I normally wear and yeah, I love them. <gasps> totally keeping these. So that's everything that I bought. If you like this haul, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if there was any items that you thought were really nice or if there's anything that you think I should definitely keep or anything that you think looked awful and that I should send back. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.